Hi guys, Jade Morris here. We're at UOC London and we're joined today by the UOC Senior Vice President, Joe Carr. Joe, thank you for stopping to talk to us. Talk us through those fights. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was. It was an amazing night for us. I mean, it always is. I feel like every time we come to the O2, it's always a great night. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. It felt like one of those, you know, for UK MMA, almost like a passing of the guard, obviously with Brad's last fight. I mean, Jimmy had an amazing performance, but obviously he's, you know, later in his career. But then you have the younger guys coming up, like Diakesi with a ridiculous knockout. Um, Arnold Allen had a good performance. Leon Edwards had a good performance. So it just it was a great night for overall for uh, not only the UFC, but I just think in, you know, MMA in general in the UK. And obviously as well, there's been a big announcement. So, uh, you know, UFC Vice President James Elliott is stepping down. You will be taking that place. Are you looking forward to continuing the growth of the European MMA market? Yeah, I am. And, you know, I'm not, I guess, taking the place in the sense that, like, I'm the new European head. Um, I oversee our international business, so this market will be treated like, you know, Asia, Brazil, et cetera, where, you know, the team on the ground here is amazing. They've been in place for, you know, most of them five plus years now, you know, so they really don't need to, to be managed, to be honest. They, it's it's like clockwork with, the, with that group. Um, but, no, we're excited. I mean, the UFC team here is going to be moving into the IMG offices, um, integrating there, you know, all, all – obviously be overseeing things, um, spending a lot more time in this market. Um, but yeah, it's business as usual for UFC, uh, so we're excited. And speaking of the market, obviously we've got quite a lot of events happening this year. You've just announced, you know, Glasgow, going back to Stockholm. Can we expect even more fights next year as well? Yeah, so I think, you know, um, we announced the, the rest of the calendar, obviously. You know, we got Stockholm coming up in May, Glasgow in July, Rotterdam in September, um, and then uh, Gdansk in Poland. In, in, in October um, and you know we have we also announced Singapore we have Japan all, all over the place so I think for for EMEA in particular I think you know we've kind of hit that sweet spot of five to six events a year for now but I, I mean I want to expand you know when you look beyond you know this year next year into 19 you know I think the market can support you know eight to ten events you know I think there's enough demand when you think about all the different countries and territories we haven't been back to the Middle East in a while uh, you look at Russia we haven't been to yet um, a number of Western European countries as well, so South Africa. So there's definitely a lot of markets for us, and I think it's just to continue to expand. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to seeing the growth of the European MMA. Thank you so much for talking to us. No, thank you, and it was a, it was a great night for us and for UFC. Appreciate the support. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.